Good morning, so welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would share the day with you today. I'm not entirely sure yet what we're going to get up to, but I'm sure it will be another cosy day at home because isn't that what every day is right now? I don't know if it's like it for you guys, but the UK is in lockdown still and so every day is pretty much the same. So I've been trying to change things up a bit for Echo. So we got him a new toy. This was from Tesco and I think it was like £4. It wasn't expensive. Honestly, he loves it so much. So I gave it to him yesterday and I wish I'd have filmed his reaction. It was hilarious. It was just jumping all around and it's kind of a pop-up tent so it squashes. It's taken him ages to figure out that he can't stand on it. <laughs> Let me get him. Come here. So here he is, little Echo. You're in trouble, aren't you, today? You're a troublesome boy. Yes, you are. Doo -doo 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 -doo. His new favourite thing is to like turn his entire head upside down like an owl. He's so placid, bless him. He's just like, Mum, let me go and play. I don't want to be manhandled right now. But then equally, he's quite happy, aren't you? lost a finger then. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. <laughs> oh gosh. Come on, let's move this onto the floor. Can you withdraw yourself from the cube? Please. Come on. There you come. There you come. <laughs> Are you tired? Oh no, you look like a psycho. He kind of looks like he's driving a car. <laughs> You're so cool. <laughs> Come on. Echo's in a very playful mood this morning. that bubble. <laughs> an update on this bed as well he actually used it I think it was twice last week um, so we were very happy he didn't actually sleep in it but he just went in there and he just laid and he looked so adorable I'll try and find a picture so that's kind of you know a good thing because this is the one thing that we bought <laughs> this is the one thing we bought that he just never used and it was just like a decoration I also got him this one from Morrison's this flamingo he actually really likes it I think he mostly likes this ring more than anything else, but it bounces. Where is he? He's so predictable. He loves to go under between your legs, like when there's a cave like this. He loves it. Have you got it? Did you do a slide? <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Ow, don't bite! See, so look how much more interesting this side is. <laughs> goes mad. I don't know why they make cat toys so complicated. All they need to do is put rings on some elastic. So I'll see if I can find another picture, I've got lots of pictures to share today, of how Echo was when I woke up this morning. He's got a new hobby, or a new habit, of waking us up by biting our knees, or biting our hands or our arms, and I don't mean bite like aggressive, it's like a little love bite, like a little nibble, but it's so annoying when you're trying to sleep. And failing that, what he'll do instead is he'll start to knead closer and closer and closer until he catches your arm. <laughs> If he can't do that either, then he will tunnel underneath the covers and go all the way past your leg and then bite either your toes or your knees. So that's his new foolproof way of waking us up in the morning. 
and it's so tempting to do the same to him. <laughs> but he's so cute, and I don't think he understands, do you? Are you all floppy? I think you're tired. Are you tired? He's just downed loads and loads of raw food, which is good. Some days he likes it more than others. Can you see those long blinks? Are you tired? I wish you could see how he just flopped. <laughs> You're not normal, Echo. Don't bite my toes. They're mine. <laughs> he's finally crashed, looking very regal. Ah, oh, that's it, he's pooped. Nap time for Echo. The snow's all melted now, and this fog is coming. Look at that, it looks magical in the village. Let's go see what the garden looks like looks magical out there. It reminds me of like a fairy garden, especially since we've got our little toadstool there. Oh, I love, I love the fog. It's one of my favourite. Is it a weather? <laughs> I think it's one of my favourites anyway. I really need to remember to take these pegs off the line. But every time I look and I'm like, oh yeah, they're still on there. <laughs> it's freezing cold out there today. What's that when you want to go and pick something up? This peg's already there. I've just been overruled. Dam likes the pegs on the line. <laughs> Tell them why. <laughs> Just when you're going to hang them up, no pegs already there. <laughs> no peg bags, no dropping the pegs on the floor. No what do you drops. think? What do you think, Echo? Pegs oh, or no oh, pegs? Oh, <laughs> so, Kay's just nipped to the shop, so me and Coco Loco are going to go and sit outside for a little bit. I've noticed that when he starts going a little bit crazy sometimes, it's just because he's like a bit stir crazy and wants to go outside. And so, make myself a cuppa, take him out, we'll just have a nice little sit down and just loves sort of being outside and sniffing the air and listening to the sounds and stuff, so. Yeah, gonna go and cool him down a little bit and then hopefully we'll have a, a nice nap this afternoon. Can we go outside? What? <laughs> Come on, Nelly. Is that kitty in the window? The look of a little boy who's up to no good. What are you plotting, Echo? Sometimes it's just funny to watch him and see what he gets up to. Oh, that's not quite right, Echo. <laughs> All right. You only learn by falling. You need to grow a little bit more first. Are you okay? That's the second big fall of the day. The first one was down the stairs. I think, well, <laughs> we were saying earlier, he's got this, <laughs> he's got his, his new favorite thing is putting his hands on my face. I know, I want to show him your belly. <laughs> he's got this big fat belly and I think that he's due under the growth spurt and so I think he's all uneven, like his weight's uneven and so <laughs> his balance isn't the best today. Um, it's just really funny watching him try and conquer new things. He's stroppy today, aren't you? I think he's tired too. Are you tired? This is a better view of his big fat belly. Look at all this! Where did all this come from? You're turning into a proper rag doll. He's so soft, I wish you could feel him. Feels like cotton wool. <laughs> Inseparable from this bobble today. So I've got an absolute abundance of mouldy bananas. I don't want to say mouldy, but they're very, very ripe. So I think I'm going to make some banana bread with these and see how that goes. I mean, there's more. I think I could make two batches of banana bread. So I might make one batch today and see how it is and then do the other. And then I could try and find some space in the freezer to put a second loaf. But it's ages since I've had banana bread. So that's what I'm going to do. Have you come to investigate, Echo? Did you miss me? Hey. Are you going to sleep? I think you should go to sleep. I think you're tired. Don't you think you're tired? Hey? Oh dear. Oh Bobby. Do you want to cuddle? He's investigating the flower. 
<laughs> he's so big now, look how tall he is. I'll obviously wipe the side before I start baking. Don't want any butt prints, do we? <laughs> Did anybody order baked Echo? Seems to be uh, deciding to cook himself. Honestly, what are you doing? So I just had a trip to Morrison's for a loaf tin so I could make this banana bread. Um, and I, <laughs> hello, do you want to be the centre of attention today? <laughs> I got this mug and I thought it was really, really pretty. And it's, so it's similar to the other one I've got, but it's only one cup. So that should make my coffee intake a lot less. <laughs> I like, <laughs> I like a good cup of coffee, but that other one's got me addicted to two cups and we can't be having that. So yeah, if anyone was wondering where it's from, it's from Morrison's. And I also got this baking bowl because we didn't have one before, so it'll be a nice addition. <sighs> right, shall we make some food, Echo? Echo Gecko? Yeah? You need to come down then. So this is the recipe I'm going to follow. It's by Baking with Granny. I've never tried anything off this website before, so who knows what it's going to be like. I just wanted something with really simple ingredients. Also, does it annoy anybody else when you come onto a website for it? And what's it called? Ingredients. And you have to scroll like a million years to get down. To be fair, this wasn't so bad. So it just had like minimal ingredients and nothing crazy. And they were like apple sauce or coconut oil or anything like that. I've got all of these in the cupboard and they're all very easy. So I'm going to give it a go. Add some chocolate chips, definitely. There's even like a free from option there if you want to do it dairy free. Um, yeah, let's see how this goes. Remember what I said earlier about Echo using his bed? I feel so proud. How is it in there? You could have a nap. Good boy. It's like, Mum, leave me alone. Okay, I'll leave you be. I like to wash up and kind of tidy up as I go along because otherwise I just don't want to do it later on and I think that just makes for a tidier house and a tidier mind. I was going to say, I got these gloves from Morrison's. I bought them ages ago because I try and keep them, you know, in stock in the house. And it was all good until I tried to put them on and I realised that they're both for the left hand. So this one and then this one is left handed too. <laughs> oh gosh. But you try and make life easier for yourself. <laughs> so now I've got like this backwards glove, but it you can't really do the same things with your hands. So that's been interesting the last few days. <laughs> I'd love to know if this has ever happened to anybody else. I feel like I'm from, <laughs> I don't know, the Grinch or something. You know, the Who's with like the flicky fingers. <laughs> Weird. <laughs>
that feels like a good mug. I don't know if you like this, but I just, I really enjoy coffee more when I enjoy the mug. It's the same for tea as well, it's something about the way it feels in your hand. So I think there it is, let's see, 12 minutes left before the banana bed, bed, banana bed. Banana bread is ready, I am so excited that I know that it's going to need to sit for a little while before we can actually eat it. So I wanted to say thank you to everybody who gave me recommendations from my last vlog last Sunday. I was asking for advice about what I can do with my fridge, um, fridge freezer to make it easier with Echo and all of his food and I got some really good suggestions so I thought I would just sit down for a sec and talk about it because some of you might be in the same boat as me trying to make better swaps, more like plastic free swaps and a bit more eco-friendly as well. So one of the best things that people said was there is these stretchy plastic lids that you can get that go over bowls and plates and whatnot so I'm definitely going to invest in those so I'm sure you'll see them in a vlog in the future. So that was the best uh, thing that people were saying and the other one was wax wraps. I've used wax wraps, that's like a tongue twister. <laughs> I've used them in the past but I found that food would go mouldy and they'd go like mouldy and gross and I just felt like I couldn't get them clean because you need hot water really but then the hot water melts the wax. It was all a bit of a palaver. I feel like for storing whole foods, you know, like, I don't know, if you were going on a picnic or something, then they would be useful, or maybe for bread, but not so much for, like, veggies and stuff, because if you don't get to them in time, then they can go bad, and then it's just all a bit gross. The other thing people were saying was um, glass containers with lids, so that's what I'm going to do. We actually had an Indian takeaway the other day, and I got this little salad um, Tupperware, so it's plastic, so not perfect, but it fits in Echo's little portions of food perfectly, so that's been a good swap so far, and now I just need the actual, like, stretchy lids to put over the food. So anyway, I just thought I would chat about that for a sec and let you all know of the great swaps that you can make. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee and then like I said, it's about 10 minutes till the banana bread is ready. gosh look at this I wish you could smell this it's about time that they created smell -a vision right <laughs> that smells amazing if you've got some bananas or even if you don't have bananas just go get some and let them go off oh it's ages since I've had this I am so excited how tempting is it just to like cut it off and eat it now I'm just gonna have to wait a bit for it to cool oh, I think that's the hardest part hmm Thank you. It smells amazing. Oh, yum. It's still a little bit warm, but it cuts so well, and I'm really impressed with it. Oh, that looks so nice. I'll let you know what I think. All right, that's really nice. Oh, it's ages since I've had uh, banana bread. We were just saying before, we think the last time we had banana bread was in Hawaii, in Hilo. Um, what island was that? I don't know. Maui, I think it was Maui. Um, yeah, there was a banana bread place there, like a little shop. It was really well known for banana bread. And that's where the last place it was. I had so much banana bread when I was there, but it kept making me really anxious because they used really strong cacao. And so it was just like too much for my body. But it was a really great, just easy option when we were out and about. Mmm. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? <laughs> Echo Coco, you've been weird. Oh, oh, no. oh, it's on the shelf. <laughs> What's he doing? <gasps> Echo. Echo, no, no. No, go, go, go. What's he doing? Hey? <laughs> Scary. That's your tail. So I've got tea on the way, it looks like chaos in here, but this is Nando's chicken. Um, so that's just chicken with this Nando's marinade. So I just put that in the oven in a dish 
and then once the chicken's all cooked I just transfer it to this pan to cook it off and then this is some spicy rice left over from last night's dinner so I'm heating that back up over here this is the making station <laughs> so Dom will be having a sandwich and chips and I'm having a salad so this is what my salad's looking like all I've done is mashed an avocado and that's my like dressing I guess you could call it and I'm just gonna have some chicken and I think there's a sweet corn, a corn on the cob as well. So, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done anyway. In here, I've got some sweet potato, that's the other thing I've got. Sweet potato instead of chips. All right, so that's dinner served. I've got about two out of 10 on presentation for Dom's and it looks very orange. <laughs> um, and then this one's mine. So like I said, I just got a salad and then the rice is actually turmeric, paprika and garlic powder and it's really really nice so Dom's got some leftovers as well but this looks delicious, it's very very orange but I'm really looking forward to it. So I just wanted to show you this little guy who's been sleeping here all afternoon keeping Dom company. He's had a bit of a wall built around him though as he's been sat here so we've got all the Etsy orders to do like we normally do. Bless him. I can't believe how dark this patch has got seems like it's done all of a sudden. So it's the next day and in true case style I completely forgot to end this video. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that, you know, it was just a normal day and I think sometimes those kind of days are really enjoyable to watch because not every day is a really exciting adventurous day but it's those little tiny things in daily life that really do bring true happiness. That's what I believe anyway. So yes, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did and let me know if you've got any video ideas that you'd love to see from me in the future because I'm always interested and I have a nice long list so it's always great to add stuff to it. So that's it from me today. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.